We're depending on people coming in. They have to come in or we don't make it. It's pretty addicting. Hey ladies, most of the cowboys are single at the Cody Night Rodeo. If I could get on a bull every day of my life, it'd probably be heaven. If he wants to follow my footsteps, God bless his little heart. We're down $9,000 right now. Don't seem like I fit in much anywhere. Go get me a medic. It's a spike. Did you get that one on camera? Last time on Eyewitness, we survived our first week at the Cody Night Rodeo, the only nightly rodeo left in the country, and we found it's a bone-breaking carnival on horseback, and this season could be the last. So we're depending on people coming in. They have to come in or we don't make it. You know, we'd be out of business. For owners Jim and Kathy Ivory, opening night was anything but a success. How'd it go tonight? It was a disaster. Oh, Tony, get your feet out in front of you. Tony Martolio, the rodeo clown, had a major scare. I knew I could make it back. In this business, it's going to happen. You just got to look at a positive attitude on it. Newcomer Vern Powell got his first shot at the big time. <laughs> A lot of times when I gotta get bucked off, it's from a weak heart. I guess I just wasn't aggressive as I needed to be tonight. And we met a mysterious stranger. The other cowboys aren't quite sure what to make of him. So you know this mysterious man in black? I don't know if anybody could, if, if she should call him that. We call him a black in black. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bam Benoit, and it's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Iron Rodeo Company to the Cody Knight Rodeo. Nervous at all? Pardon? Nervous? He doesn't really follow the cowboy way. He's got this bad boy image, and he supposedly fought a couple of judges in the past. So he doesn't have a very good reputation around here. Is this for real? Yeah. This? You know him? When you know how to do it, you do it right, and he doesn't really know what he's doing. It's kind of funny, though. Well, I noticed you were laughing. So <laughs> oh, everyone was laughing. That's yeah. the bad thing about it. <laughs> there you go. Black and black. How'd you do? That was I a missed lot. him out. What does that mean? Didn't have my spurs over his shoulders coming out. I didn't spur him for shit, either. He was a wild one, huh? Kind of fun. He's one you make some money on to get him right. Such is life, huh? <laughs> well, I had fun though. <laughs> that's what counts. As long as you got the money to play, that's the most important. <laughs> the magic of getting what you want. Good brain food. That's interesting. I wouldn't have thought it was a kind of bull rider's text. Shoot, yes it is. It's all about using your mind. Is that what? Yeah. That has a lot to do with bull riding? 90% of it. Bull riding's at least 90% mental, I think. At least. That's interesting, because it looks like a purely physical sport, where all you have to do is hang on mm -hmm. for your life. God, no. If it was that easy, everybody would be winning. Who's going to help you? Tony's kids are spending the summer with him, even though his ex-wife doesn't think the rodeo is the best place for them. Not only did they participate in their dad's clown act, the oldest, Josh, is even getting into steer riding. Do you think your son will follow in your footsteps? You know, can I be honest about this? Yeah, please. Uh, actually, Lori, my ex-wife, you know, she, she doesn't want him out here because she wants to be a doctor, Lauren, and I don't care what Josh does. 
whatever he does, as long as he gives us 100%, it's fine with me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether he wants to be a cowboy, baseball player, doctor, lord, whatever he wants to be. If he wants to drive garbage trucks and he's a, a good garbage truck driver and he's there, that's fine with me. It doesn't matter. you got to support him whatever they do. So if he wants to follow my footsteps, God bless his little heart. <laughs> Is he at all worried about you tonight? or? No, he's not worried about me. Really? Ever. I guess. Not really ever worried about me. Is he okay, boys? Get off the phone. Boys, boys, boys! Boys, boys! I was just wondering if you ever get nervous about your son competing in steer riding. Do I get nervous? Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, it bothers me. I wish he'd pick up team roping or calf roping or something, something that... But then I've seen people get hurt pretty bad in those events too, so... And steer wrestling? And steer <laughs> Don't bring that up. Uh, <laughs> you riding again tonight? Yeah. Do you know, have you checked out the steer that you're riding? Nope. We're going to come back to Buck and Shoots for the kids' steer riding event. The, steer riding is the kids who compete in steer riding take their event just as seriously as the older bull riders. Stay square. As soon as Josh fell off the steer and we knew he was hurt, the mood of the entire arena immediately changed. When Josh got hurt, I think our perception of the rodeo changed a little bit. Something that had seemed adventurous and living on the edge suddenly seemed unnecessarily reckless. We're all relieved that Josh is okay, but when Tony's ex-wife hears about the accident, she gives him an ultimatum. All right. Yeah, sure. And when Matt Steele rides, everyone takes notice. I don't think that horse liked me. It was hard enough already that Tony had to deal with his son getting hurt, but then he had to call his ex-wife and let her know that Josh got hurt at the rodeo. All right. Whenever there's an injury, the entire rodeo stalls. Did he get hurt bad? Did he get a horny? In the end, Jim has to keep the show going, so no matter how badly someone's hurt, the show must go on. It's funny because when Matt rides, you can see the other cowboys perk up. They don't want to miss a Matt Steele ride. I don't think that horse liked me. Not really? <laughs> what happened? I didn't see it. He jumped on me. It's only thirty dollars. I got some more. I got another two hundred. I ain't done yet. <laughs> Not up, come on. Go back and back, take a fall. <laughs> <laughs> what happened up there? Did it hit you? Slapped me in the head somehow. No big deal. Is it? Huh? Didn't even realize. Yeah, when he when I come off, that's when he hit me. The paramedics seemed to think that Josh was fine. His fall off the steer wasn't as serious as it looked, 
but they wanted to take him in for x-rays just to make sure. So Josh is all right? Yeah, he'll be all right. His grandma and grandpa will bring him out. Was, did, did you have to call Lori and tell her? Oh, that's the worst part of it. I know, that's like the missing. That's the worst part of it. You know, and I knew I was going to catch shit. So she says, I want them back right now. I want all the kids back. I said, no, you'll get them back Friday when you're scheduled to get them back. I said, it's nothing that I did wrong. Well, that can happen right in their body. Yeah. You know, it's just something that happens, and so you just got to deal with it. For Vern, the night rodeo hasn't been as easy as he thought it would be. It's been about a week and a half now, and he's yet to have a completed ride. Awesome. Vern hasn't made any money bull riding yet, so he's had to resort to actually finding a job. Go ahead and put some carpet up there. And He's working for Kelly Wright, a leather worker and former bull rider who makes supplies for rodeos. So I slept good, but we got to honor my ancestors a little more today. Hmm. That means you and I are going to do some yard work for my grandma. I don't think Fern's first day of work was at all what he was expecting. It's degrading work for cowboy. Oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. You girls, if that one fella comes around, because yeah. he's been parked right over there, because there's not many people out here right now, okay? It's just that the girls are gonna stay in here and that guy's over there. Count. Yeah. yeah. I know when he came, he told me to not let any of the girls be any place alone with him. He's caused fights, I guess. Now here he's been nice. So far he's been real nice. How's it been going here for you so far? Pretty rough. <laughs> Pretty rough. Are the guys around here friendly most of all? Oh, some of them are, some of them aren't. <laughs> I don't really fit in with them sometimes. Don't seem like I fit in much anywhere sometimes. So why do you do it? Well, one reason is because there's a force on this earth that was given power to kill men with the animals. And I'm just letting them try. And I keep thinking maybe they'll repent of their ways when they see the futility of their efforts. Yeah, probably be heading out after tonight. Really, was that? We're broke. After meeting these cowboys, it's no surprise that no one even thinks of canceling. Not even when the weather turns nasty. This ain't baseball. And after weeks of disappointments, Vern finally has something to cheer about. <laughs> After his first day of working with Kelly, I think Vern felt things were finally going his way. But it seemed like the weather was turning against him. This is going to suck. I've lived here for 43 years and have not heard of it being canceled once, ever. You have to go pretty much under any conditions. You just have to keep going. Find out who's the Cowboys. 
I think they're insane, but I think they love it at the same time. It's a little bit more manly, and yet at the same time, I don't think they're gonna like hitting the, the, hitting the ground. I thought they were gonna cancel it. They don't cancel rodeos. This ain't baseball. Yesterday, you're already out here helping again? Yeah, it's just last night they did all this stuff to me. What do you mean? They like wrapped me up and all this stuff, and I could have got up and just walked out of the out of the arena. Looks like a lot of bull, don't he? He makes money if I can get him rode. Come on, get out of my way! I won't get muddy. Cowboys are completely out of their minds. Matt Steele had been waiting for this bull ride all week. He spent his last $15 on entry fees, and if he doesn't win any money, he's going to leave town. Okay, let's go. Matt's ride didn't count, but at least he tried, and by trying, I think he earned a little respect from some of the Cowboys. This is just one of them sports that <laughs> you go no matter what. If it's a little rain and you're being a weenie about it, you don't need to be out here in the first place. By the time it was Vern's turn to ride, the rain was really coming down, and it was going to be even more difficult for him to make it to the buzzer. <laughs> After weeks of struggling, getting on bulls, and trying everything he can, Burns finally made eight seconds on a bull. Makes you feel good when you do something like that. It's all I needed up here, just a little bit of confidence building. Vern didn't win, but by staying on for eight seconds, he's regained the confidence he had when he first arrived at Cody. It felt good to be aggressive again. It felt real good. Is that it, Matt? How'd it go? A little rough. <laughs> May not be real good at this, but I can say, can't say I ain't trying. <laughs> Hell, way to have fun. Matt Steele left that night, having spent all his money at Cody. But he did what he came to do. He rode a bull at the Cody Night Rodeo. It's getting pretty soggy out here, and Jim's wondering if the show can go on. How deep you figure you sink in there? Well, there's places out there where it's a foot. And the rain isn't only affecting the arena, it's also taking its toll on the box office. It's gonna start hurting us more from now on if it doesn't stop raining. One thing that we really can't do a thing about but really affects us is the weather and today we had rain, rain, rain. If this had happened in the middle of July, you know, it really would have cost us a lot of people. So let's hope this is the end of the rain for this summer. <laughs> The rain never did stop. Jim woke up to a problem he had never considered. Mud in the arena was so thick you couldn't get a horse through it. 
and now the Irie's had to decide what to do. The person that has a better chance of getting hit by lightning than coming to the Cody Night Rodeo and having it canceled on the counter range. I've never seen it happen. You have reached the Cody Night Rodeo. Due to the conditions of the arena, the rodeo has been canceled for tonight, June 10th. The rodeo will be on as normal tomorrow night. If you have any questions about entries, please leave a message and we'll get back to you. How deep you figure you sink in there? Well, there's places out there where it's a foot of mud. Due to the possibility of injury to stock, tonight's performance of the Cody Knight Rodeo has been canceled. At the Ivory Rodeo Company, the welfare of the animals always comes first. Tonight's performance of the Cody Knight Rodeo has been canceled. Kind of hate saying that. You only been in Cody, Wyoming two weeks, and you first time it's ever done this. First time ever. First time ever canceled here because of rain. Yep. As far as I know. Well, the weather, I guess, won, it looks like. Rodeo's canceled tonight. Yeah, it's canceled. I just yeah. called 10 minutes ago and that woman said, um, it's on. Nothing will uh, oh, cancel no, the rodeo. Probably, yeah. Are you worried what this might mean for the summer? Well, for tonight, I mean, it meant we had to give a lot of money for tickets back. Okay. There were tickets sold, so that's hard. Uh, there were people that were disappointed because they're leaving tomorrow and they wanted to see the rodeo. Do any of these folks have tickets? No. Okay. We got freebies though. We'll let you give these to somebody else. No, oh, you got freebies. That's too bad. We hope it ends before a lot of people start coming. Because our busy season really starts about now. It's going to start hurting us more from now on if it doesn't stop raining. Next time on Eyewitness. It's a mess. A lot of mud. As the rain continues, we're beginning to wonder if the rodeo can survive. Can you really afford being three, four days without the rodeo? An aging cowboy hopes to make it to the National Old Timers Rodeo. You gotta be in the top 12 to go to Reno. Hopefully I get there. <laughs> I hope so. But first he has to make good in Cody. <laughs> And Tony gets Josh's help for his new act. So are you excited? Now remember, I'm I nervous. Said there was one more with spectacular results. 